Mammography is still considered the gold standard for detecting breast cancer, but one company is developing a new screening tool unlike any other. Here's CBS 2's Lisa Siegel with the cancer detecting bra. Good boy. 20 years ago, Nedra Lindsay agreed to be part of a medical trial. They needed us to wear this up and coming device that was going to be used to detect breast cancer. She was 25 at the time and didn't think much about the gadget similar to this made up of sensors and a small data pack that would monitor breast activity. But I just never thought it would be of any use to me because I was so young. But readings from the device showed an abnormality. A biopsy then changed her life. The device that showed proof positive that, that I did have breast cancer. She ultimately had a mastectomy, and today she's cancer free. We are moving towards uh, 21st century technology. Today, the wires and data have evolved into this model of a cancer detecting bra. It's called the first warning system. Matthew Bernardis's company developed the bra that can detect temperature changes in a woman's breasts, which could signal breast cancer. We ask women to wear this bra for 12 hours once a year, starting at the age of 18 as a part of their annual health care screening. That data is acquired uh, over that 12-hour period. We interpret it and send it back to the physician in under 30 seconds. Then at that point, the physician and the patient can consult on what the next step should be. There are 16 electrodes, eight embedded into each bra cup. For 12 hours, every 30 seconds, temperatures are recorded at each sensor. Five algorithms analyze the data, looking for a pattern of heat production that shows either healthy or suspicious tissue. Breast specialist Dr. Christy Funk of Pink Lotus Breast Center in Beverly Hills explains how it works. Cancer cells have abnormal blood flow. It's constant, giving off constant heat, whereas normal cells have blood vessels that ebb and flow. This bra can tell the difference, so it hones in on where the cancer is based on heat production. The company hopes eventually the bra will help all women, especially those with dense breasts. And they say their clinical trials are very promising. Against the screening mammogram in young and dense-breasted women, we're showing false positive, false negative rates of between 5 and 9 percent versus about 35 to 38 percent for the screening mammo. This is a dense breast. The mammogram is completely white. This is cancer. It's also white. So the white on white just cancels each other out. We miss up to 40 percent of cancers in these dense-breasted women. So if this bra can see through all of that to cell activity, then it's promising. Promising, but she wants more information. They've completed three trials of the bra versus mammogram, but we haven't seen any results that we can analyze and really understand. So I can't get excited about this until I see the data. The bra is innovative, but it's not ready for prime time. A version of this prototype will be tested this summer. Nedra Lindsay says the technology already saved her life. Who knows if I would have been here, if it would have already taken my life. I am one lucky, lucky person. I'm Lisa Siegel, CBS 2 News. The company says the bra and tests require no radiation, are non-invasive and non-toxic. More data will be released and their goal is to make that bra available in the U.S. by 2014 pending FDA approval.